So to sum this all up, uh, this it's it's pretty much done. Other than you know, I have to put like the trim like I have back there. I have to put you know on here. Obviously, I haven't decided if I'm going to go with like this piece with gray or if I'm just going to do white because uh, I don't know. I, I can't decide yet whether I just want to do white or gray. I, it doesn't really matter, but uh, that was the process. These doors, you can see right there, everything's backwards on camera, but I need to put a handle on there on both of them. This door is perfectly straight and it's, it's, uh, you know, everything went well as far as putting them up. It was kind of a pain, obviously, because I did it myself. And, you know, hard, help is hard to come by, you know, these days. Everyone wants my help, but no one wants to help me do anything. It's usually the way it goes if you put forth effort, because even if you don't know how to do something, if you're not a professional, if you make the effort, everyone will expect you to do it for them, <laughs> you know, because they don't have to put forth the effort then because someone will just do it for them. So lesson learned, just pretend like you don't know how to do anything and then no one will bother you. But you know, I like helping people out and you know, here and there I do get lucky and get a hand, but with stuff like this, I don't expect people to come over here and build my building for me. It's kind of like my, it's my building. So I just do as much as I can by myself. If there's something that's literally impossible, then I'll get help. But you know, everything that I did wasn't so bad. Um, cars are in here for the winter. Uh, the next big project will be getting these walls done. Now I'm thinking about just doing some OSB eight foot high along these walls, maybe insulating it first, but I'm just going to do eight foot high the whole way around. And, uh, I just wanted to cement this post in, not because I was worried about it. Like, like it's literally just sitting. I, I have to cut this excess wood off too, but it was literally just kind of sitting. It's just sitting there. Like it's not, it's not a, there's no rebarb in there. There's nothing staking it down. So I figured I'd take that down, you know, three foot and It'll just hold it in place. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like that. Who knows, man? But it's there for the winter. This thing's not going to blow away, I hope. It's anchored down pretty well. But I'm just super stoked. Uh, I know you guys could watch YouTube and look up, you know, people building 60 by 80 buildings. But, like, you know, those people have money. I, I really don't. <laughs> uh, I don't have a ton of money. Just make do with what I have and uh, I try to do things myself to save money. Sure, I could save up and I could have paid $20,000 for this building. Uh, I could have had a cement slab poured and everything else, but I'm going to do all that myself because like, you know, why, why waste money? Like I have mouths to feed. I have, I have a family and I, I have other projects I'd like to put my money into. You know, and I, I really, I don't want to spend top dollar on a building. Like why, why spend it if you don't have to? Now, if you have like stupid money that you don't really care and, uh, you know, you, you just need to spend money for some reason, then good for you, man. That's awesome. Uh, I'll never experience that, but uh, I make do with what I have and uh, I work as hard as I can. And, uh, I'm just I'm very happy, you know, I'm, I have a humble little 20 by 20 storage for my cars. Now they don't have to sit out in the snow and uh, deteriorate. And I don't have to watch them from my kitchen window and look at snow landing on them like I did all year with my other cars. Uh, and I have free, I have a lot of room in, in my garage now, which that's that's getting covered next. That. That's gonna get covered with charcoal gray metal to match this carport because it looks pretty bad. Uh, I I really uh, I feel like that's that's gonna really do it on my property. Once that's covered, it'll look like I have two brand new garages out here, and it'll kind of tie everything together. But that's a project for another day. And uh, 
I just wanted to end this episode. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is it. Like you know, these garage doors aren't perfect. You know, that one's a little bent up down there. You can see, but I don't care, man. I I, I got these garage doors for three hundred dollars. You know, they're a thousand dollars brand new. They need clean. They're they're really dirty, but uh, I'm gonna pressure wash them. And if I have to repaint them white, I I, re I probably won't. But I'm just gonna at least pressure wash them. But, you know, I saved a lot of money doing this myself. It was my first time framing in garage doors. I never even saw a roll-up garage door in real life outside of driving by uh, storage units. I never dealt with one. I didn't know what I was doing. But, you know, you just trial and error, live and learn. And uh, where there's a will, there's a way. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next episode. We're going to be doing something car-related, I hope. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the building.